Solving algebraic equation number one. Perfect. We're just going to review it, so it should be fairly easy for some of us. Question number one is How's your Friday going? Great. Right. Right. Friday. Tomorrow, Saturday. Anybody remember what the definition of active value was in algebra one? Uh huh. Um, it's a it's a positive or no number, so if it's negative, it's positive. You're right. Active value. The answer should always be what? Right. What's active value of negative ten? Ten. What's active value of negative four? Four. What's active value of one hundred? Like you're right. So the definition is actually, here we go, formally defined as, bam. Okay, go ahead and copy that down and we'll talk about it. The active value of a number is the distance from zero. And can distance be negative ever? No. What if you go home today and you decide to run backwards? Would your distance would you <laughs> would your distance still be negative or positive? It's still positive. Doesn't matter how you run, okay? Uh, probably people will be looking at you, but your distance home will still be positive. All right, so copy this down, and then we'll talk about. I'll move up this to the step. We have four steps. I'll move that up one. The absolute value, if A is bigger than or equal to zero, so if A is bigger than or equal to zero, then A will always be positive, because it's already positive. A is negative, let's say negative 4, but the distance from 0 to 4 would still be positive. So the distance would always be positive. Let me move it up so you can copy the steps. We have four steps and we'll solve a few examples. Can you help me re uh, read step number one? Grace, help me read step number one. Huh? Perfect. Get the active value all by itself. Trevor, can you help me read step number two? Set up two equations. Set up two equations. Very good. Malin, can you help me read step number three, please? Solve each equation. Good. And step four, Mariana, can you help me read four? Perfect. So we are going to try to do example one together. Here we go. Example one here says just an absolute value of x, okay? What values could x be? Okay, so five or negative five, why? Why both? What is it really asking, absolute value of x? equals 5. What is it really asking? Yeah, the distance is 5 from where? Zero. From 0. You're right. So it's asking, okay, here's 0. I want my distance to be 5 from it. That means can I go technically go left as well? Yeah. So if I go right or left, doesn't matter what direction I'm going, you should have two x locations, right? One x location will be at negative, Five, and then the second x location would be at at five. So that's what it's saying. It's that hey, 
where should x be if I want the distance to be 5? And the distance were always counted uh, to be from 0. So 2x's, 5 and negative 5. Example 1's easy. Let's do example 2. Example 2, the instruction says what? Solve. Solve means we're going to try to find what? X. Step number one says, get the absolute value by itself. Is the absolute value already by itself on the left side? Yes. Right? It is already by itself. Now, step number two, how many equations do we write? Two. The first equation is x minus 7 equals 212, exactly the way it looks. Whatever the original is, you write it exactly the way it looks, okay? Just like earlier with the absolute value of x being 5, and you gave me x is 5 and x is positive 5, the second equation is whatever the absolute value is, you said equals to, anybody remember from algebra 1? What did we said equals to? Negative 12, okay? Negative 12. So now we solve for x normally. What do we do first on the left equation? Add 7. Okay. If we add 7 from that, we get x equals to 19. The second equation, we still add 7, but is it 19? No. Okay. This is what? Negative 5. So x equals, we should check it because it said so. Take 19, absolute value of 19 minus 7. What is that? 12. Absolute value of positive 12 is still? It's still 12. So can I keep 19? Let's check negative 5. Negative 5 minus 7 is what? Negative 12. Absolute value of negative 12. 12. So can I keep both? Yes. So let's keep both. Normally, let's write our answer from smallest to biggest, so it's cute. Why don't you and your team work out three? Is the absolute value already by itself? No? Yeah. yeah, look, on the left side, there aren't anything except an absolute value of 2p plus 13. How many equations should we write? Two. For the second one, all you change is you don't have the answer. Mm-hmm. First equation, Diego, give me your first equation, hon. 2p plus 13 equals negative 3, or... Um, Emily, second equation, hon, what did you write? Um, 2p plus 13 equals 3. Good. Okay. So go ahead and solve for both. Dahlia, can you guide us to solving the first equation? Good. And then you have 2p equals. And then after that, what did you do? Good. And then p is? Good. And then Maggie Ray, can you guide us solving the second equation? Good. Mm-hmm. Good. Guys, did you guys check the answers? Okay, let's check. Negative 8 is the first answer. Plug it in. Negative 8 times 2 is? Negative 16 plus 13. Negative what? Negative 3. Absolute value of your negative 3? What is it? 3. True or false? Did it come out to be negative 3 like the outside? It did? Okay. Did it? Okay, let's do it again. Negative 8. Okay, negative 8, guys. Negative 8 times what? Times 2, which is negative 16. Negative 16 plus 
13 is still a negative what? 3. Absolute value of a negative 3 must be? 3. True or false? Did it come out to be? Oops. Did it come out to be negative 3? No. So can I keep this first answer? No, you may not. Okay. Uh -huh. Okay, hold that thought. Let's check negative 5. Negative 5 times 2 is? Negative 10. Negative 10 plus 13. Positive 3. Absolute value of positive 3. It's 3. True or false? It's true. Don't we want it to be a negative 3 out here? It's false. What? You can't keep any of them? Okay. Now, well, how come? Now, let's go back to the definition. Class, what's the definition of an absolute value? A distance from zero. And earlier, we said the distance from zero must always be what? Whoa. What do they give you right there? They give you a negative distance. Is that ever possible? No. No. They cannot give you a negative distance. That's not possible. So from here on out, if the absolute value, it's already all by itself, and it equals to a negative number, what can you do right away? Write no solutions, OK? You may just write no solutions. Guys, it's only true if the absolute value is all by itself, OK? Example, quattro, and cinco. Four, is the absolute value all by itself? No. What do you have to move? The five, the negative five. All right, how do we move that negative five? Add it to this side. Remember, you don't split the equation until the absolute value is all by itself. Four, t minus seven equals to eight. Now, can I split into two equations? Okay, go ahead and take a minute to get a head start. How many equations should you write? Two, okay. Equation number one, Slater, what did you write, hon? Good. Or equation number two, Devin, what did you write, hon? 14 minus 7 negative 8. 14 minus 7 equals negative 8. Okay. So solve for t. Um, on, Megan, on the left side, 4t plus minus 7 equals 8. Can you guide us through how to solve for t for that one? Good. And then you get 4t equals what, Megan? I mean, 7. I... 8 plus 7 would be? 15. What's next? Good. And then the left side, t came out to be what, Megan? Final answer. Leave it in fraction. Leave it in fraction. Yeah, 15 to 4. Okay, right side. Alyssa, help us solve right side. Yeah, tell us the steps. Add, whoa, add 7, good. Negative 8 plus 7 equals? Good, and then divide both sides by? Good. So this one, Alyssa, T came out to be? Class, can I keep both? Okay, let's check. Now, let me tell you something. Um, when you guys check, you can plug it into the original, or you can plug it into the, the one that's isolated, the abs when, when the absolute value is isolated. So whatever is easiest for you. So you have two choices to plug in. Which one's easier for us to check? The isolated one? All right, let's do that. Check. Absolute value, four times. Four times what? What's our first T? 15 over 4. Ooh, that's a nice number. Question mark, 8, okay? What's 4 times 15 over 4, y'all? What happened to the 4s? Don't they reduce right away? Couldn't I go like that right away? 
So 15 minus 7, 8, absolute value of positive 8. It works. I can keep it. Okay. How about when we check negative quarter? Can I keep a negative quarter? No, let's check it. 4 times a negative 1 fourth minus 7, question mark 8. What's 4 times a negative 1 fourth? Negative or positive? Negative 1. Minus 7 is what? Negative 8. Absolute value of negative 8. 8. It works. Can I keep both? Okay. T equals negative 1 fourth, comma, 15 over 4. Okay. Guys, how come this one, both answers are acceptable? Because what's the distance outside? Positive 8. Okay, the distance outside is positive 8. So it is possible to get a T value. Example 5. Is the absolute value all isolated already? No. What do we do first? Divide both sides by 2. Now we have 3m plus 2 equal to what? 4. Do you think you will have an answer? Yes, because the 4 outside, is that positive or negative? Positive. How many equations should we split this into? 2. 3m plus 2 equals 4. Or? Uh-huh. All right, go ahead and solve. Just final, final answer. 2 over 3, okay? Uh, just to confirm, Jake, left equation still, okay, Jake? What did you get on the left side? Uh, 2 over 3. 2 over 3, one more just to confirm. Naomi's not here. Uh, Santana, left side still. 2 over 3. Okay, so we agree with that one? Yes. Can I keep it once it's checked? Yes, okay. Right side, Ben, what is your final answer for the right side? Negative 2. M equals negative 2. Whoa. Okay. Let's uh, verify that. So, Sophia H, what did you get for the right side? Uh huh. 3M, negative 2 as well. Okay, Christian, what did you get on the right side? Okay, so we can keep both? Okay, perfect. Guess what the next two questions are? Check for you. Check for you means what? You do it or I do it? You guys do it. All right, six minutes. Go.
Wait, so, so I, I said I said that you can't put any because you didn't put any uh, Either the original or the one that you isolated. Okay. Okay. Wow. 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 So each check for you, I'm going to call three teams, okay? Okay, first team. Ready? Number six. Sophia C's team. Final answers only, okay? Sophia C, final answer on six. What did you get, Sophia? R equals negative one and 15. Is that, I'm just going to write your answer. Grace? Um, your team, what did you get on six? Oh, yeah, same, same thing. And then Trevor's team, what did you get, hon? 15 or negative one. Okay, so agree, those are good? Yeah. Any questions or comments here? Now, seven, next three teams. It may be repeating, maybe may not, okay? Hannah's team, what did you get on seven? The whole team, come together. Agree? I can't hear you. I'm really old. No solutions, Hannah said. Okay. I don't know yet. I haven't worked this out. Wyatt, what did your team get? 
Wyatt agree? Elena team? Okay. This one seems like we are a little bit in question. Would you guys agree? Step number one, you must isolate your absolute value. Yes. What do you do first? Divide, by negative three. divide both sides by negative three. If you divide both sides by negative three, oh. absolute value of a negative half x minus four equals to what? Negative, negative one. Is a distance with, can, no, distance may never be negative. Therefore, you should have no answer. Next three team, here we go. We got Riley's team. Final answer for eight, huh? Okay, we'll wait for you. Negative. All right, so if I divide the left side by negative and the right side by negative, here we go. Negative 1 divided by negative 1. Absolute value of a negative half x minus 4 equals to a what? Negative 8. Now what do we do? Break it up? No, how do you know there's no solution? Because an absolute value is a distance. Can distance ever be negative 8? No. What do you write for the answer right away? No solutions. No solutions. Okay. That is an egg row for today's lecture.